Do you have workers that are transporting people in their vehicles with no wipes to even wipe it down afterwards? That's correct. While the nation's hospitals are dealing with severe and widespread shortages of supplies, a CARE 11 investigation discovers the shortages of masks and sanitizers is also hampering the ability of Minnesota child protection workers to adequately protect themselves and the often vulnerable families they serve. Here's investigative reporter AJ Lego. While most of Minnesota shelters in place, there are some jobs where that's just not possible. Are you doing any face-to-face -face meetings right now? Yes. The critical part of our jobs. Sarah Croteau works for Hennepin County's Indian Child Welfare Unit. We're still going out in the field and doing face-to-face -face direct work with families. Do you have a mask? No, I don't. Sarah's story is not uncommon. Emails obtained by Carol Levin show the president of the union representing Hennepin Human Services workers wrote on March 31st, our frontline workers are being sent out into the field without protective gear, masks, gloves, sanitizer, and wipes. This is an outrage. It also talks about some of the supplies they do have being expired or inadequate. For example, when employees rated their bed bug kits for sanitation supplies, it turned out they were, quote, very old, so all the Purells and wipes were quite expired. Is that acceptable? That's, it's absolutely not acceptable. Grace Boltich is the union president who wrote that email. If an endangered child needs to be removed from a home, child protection workers transport them in their own cars. The state has issued new guidelines for child safety workers during the COVID-19 pandemic. They include clean and disinfect your home, car, and workspace with alcohol or bleach-based products often. Are you saying that's not happening? That's correct. They have not been receiving adequate supplies, any supplies uh, really, to be able to sanitize their vehicle, the car seat if they're using one to transport a child. We're working as fast as we can to, to really reach some of those issues that we know have been out there. Dan Rogan is Assistant Hennepin County Administrator for Operations. He says over the past week, the county has ordered more than $2 million worth of PPE, but the arrival date keeps getting pushed back. Unable to find sanitizer wipes, he says they've begun issuing sprays and dry paper towels to wipe down cars. We're going to be in the process this week, we hope, of supplying all of our child protection workers with uh, one or more cloth masks that they'll be able to wear. Masks or not, child protection workers say their job is so important they can't just stop because of COVID-19. But at the same time, it's worrying about myself um, and my co-workers and our safety as we go out into the field and have to do these home visits. For CARE 11 Investigates, I'm AJ Legault.